All right, boys. Welcome to this week's YouTube video. I'm glad you guys are back. Jimmy's not behind the camera, but peep the fit. Yeah, it's good. I pissed all over myself. I spilled Purik all over myself. I just had a scoop of Smarties Purik out. I'm gonna go hit a new chest day that I got designed for my coach, Coach Kyle. I think I was supposed to go a little heavier today. I think we'll see what it says, but we'll catch you guys in the fucking gym. Again, guys, this is like week 11, 12, 10 of prep. We're not too sure. When I know the show, and we know for a fact that I'm 10 weeks out and I start taking the, the extra super subs, you know? Then, uh, then officially I'll be uh, seven days out and we'll start the prep series officially, 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 110% seven days out when that happens. So you guys will actually have a good time frame. I'm gonna be running like a seven day challenge on TikTok and Instagram. So every day I'm gonna like give you guys an update of myself, even if I'm gonna post twice a day, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna be getting shredded, hopefully. If I'm not getting shredded, then I'm losing, bro. But here's the, here's the abs right now. Uh, yeah, all right, Jimmy, you ready? Yo. Let's do this, boys. Oh, wow. You still in this fucking thing, bro? Yeah, it's a fucking boat. So what's the update on the new whip? Bro, I go to I go to a car dealership and it says it's 27,000 and then I sit down and they're like, okay, after all the fees and this and this and this, it's 34. You guys are smoking dick. I just literally get up and leave. I'm not gonna pay that much for a car, a used car. Like, that's dumb. This is how sexy though. So I'm in the boat, bro. I don't know, I kinda of don't want you to sell it though. I kinda of don't want to sell it either. It's fucking sick. If, we had, if, we, if I had a garage, if we had a garage, bro, I would have the top off and I'd be riding around with the top off all the time. But I don't know where to put the top. This top or that top? No, I am a top, you're the bottom. <laughs> My gay guys are gonna reference, are gonna know what that means. I know for a fact I'm gonna be big in bodybuilding. The entire past year, guys, I, I, I was traveling, I was dicking around when it comes to bodybuilding standards. I wasn't really, like, I was fucking up all my dosages. I was fucking up all my eating. I was fucking up all my training. I was training very light. I was just keeping muscle and I still gained muscle. When I was on my shit, when I first fell in love with bodybuilding, I did the least amount of testosterone you could possibly. I did 250 megs of test. I did the, I did a tiny bit of D-ball, 30 megs of D-ball. I went from squatting 405 for one grinder rep to doing 405 for 12 solid fucking manly fucking reps and three team for fucking 20 guys I, I blow up when I want to gain muscle when I want to get big I get big and I know I can get big I have the genetics to be a fucking phenom I have and this is me being as humble as possible I have good insertions I'm a big guy you guys from from the camera to to your phone I look a little stringy because I'm six foot six foot one I need to be 230 240 to really look big but the difference of that 230 to, to someone that's like five nine 205 is huge guys I know I have what it takes to be a fucking pro level bodybuilder I know I do the past year doesn't really represent to represent that because I, I was traveling I was enjoying my life I was learning who I was as a, as a 23 year old soon to be pro bodybuilder and I had to travel I had to see the world I had to see what the entire world was like to really make sure that this is what I wanted I wanted to really really make sure that bodybuilding and this whole life goal and all the things I was doing, the girl I broke up with, the hard decision I made to leave my home, everything that led up to where I am now, I had to make sure that's what I wanted and this is what I wanted and it, it all came back to me knowing what my fucking dream is and I know for a fact that I'm gonna achieve this dream. It, it's crazy that it took me that long to really solidify myself but now I know who I am, I know what I am and I know where I'm going. And I know, I know for a fact there's no doubt in my fucking head that people will look at me and be like, that motherfucker's gonna be on the Olympia stage. I know I will. I don't care what anyone says right now, I see doubt in people's eyes. Because until they see it, they won't believe it, right? But I fucking see it. I don't need anyone else, anyone else to see it but me. And holy shit, guys. I just know, I know, this time next year, people are gonna look at me and be like, wow. He fucking did it. So I'm on the way to the gym now, guys. Let's put on some EDM. Fuck. Wow. It's the fucking truth, though. Ted talks, baby. Oh, Jordan's calling me. Jordy. Jordy. I have like really tight shoulders. I, like the insertion from my front delt to my pec is really tight. So like this piece right here is always tight on me. So if you guys notice, as I'm warming up, I'm actually like right in the hole. I'm kind of giving like a little bounce because in that piece, that's right where I'm the tightest. So I'm kind of just trying to open up my chest a bit and really focus on that squeeze. And right now I'm just mentally getting my mind ready because I'm going to be going heavy on these first few sets because we got to get the heavy workout out of the way before we start doing that nice and hypertrophy work. If I don't open up all the way and put that chest up high, I fucking always end up hurting my shoulder. Oh yeah. 
I added barely any weight and I feel a huge difference just with the technique change. Really trying to focus on technique this prep because if I don't, I'm gonna either injure myself or I'm just gonna be small. And I'd rather be a big, large, flexible meathead. Woo! Oh yeah. How's it feel? Feels good. I did, bro, flies never feel good for me. They've never felt good for me. It's uh, it's 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 my fault, bro. When I was a, when I was younger, I never built good connection with my pecs. That's why they, that's why they're small. Guys that have really big muscles, it's usually because they have really good mental connection with it. So like my triceps grow really fast because I could physically squeeze my triceps very very good. My quads on the other hand, my right one's bigger because I have better mind muscle connection with it. It's all about the connection. That's what bodybuilding is. It's all about like the connect the connection with the muscle. Dude, wearing a hat on chest day is always the worst because if you have it backwards, it fucking falls off. <laughs> yeah, just a little fucking quick warm up. Feels good. I need more weight. Just trying to get blood in, nothing crazy. I don't need to go heavy to get the blood there. Just really trying to warm it up because the last thing I want to do is fucking injure something. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I really feel like this is like the OP bodybuilding fit because I'm just in here to get it done. Yeah, it's all young LA, but like, go Patty, but still. <laughs> Regardless, this is a dope fit. It's simple, bro. So if I warm up like way too much, like excessively, then I have great workouts. And it's only with the muscles that I have bad connection with. Because my triceps, I don't have to really warm them up. I can just bang them. You take long ass warm ups. Yeah, I love warming up. Because I used to never warm up, and that's why I injured my shit. <laughs> See how I'm getting in position? And then I press. I don't get excited. I don't start pressing before I'm in the position. If I get too excited, that's how I injure my shit. Squeeze. 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 Yep. I'm like coaching myself right now. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Trying to build that piece right there. Boy. Yeah. It's all fuck it. Yeah, it's his first working set, 10 reps. Fuck, oh, come on. 10 reps. Oh, I'm cramping. Oi. I don't know, my pump's insane today already. I just feel good. Stay in position. Stay tight. Big breath. Waiting on the fucking song. Stay tight. Come on, come on. It's a great feeling when you're getting stronger as you're cutting. Come on, motherfucker. Perfect, bro. Failure. Drop 30%. It's perfect. Drop set, drop set. Same thing, 10 reps. Big breath. Boosh. 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 Come on. Come on. Ooh. Almost 
smash my foot on that one. That's so fucking failure. Yeah. Uh, good, good. Keep the blood in there. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna drop this here a tiny bit. That's good though. I would consider that, that first working. Pumpy, dog. Could be better. It will be better soon. Come on. Stay tight. Stay tight. Stay tight. Stay tight. Stay tight. <laughs> I'm gonna drop that shit. Yeah, bro. Just real full and thick. Yeah, you look cool and neat. And back to it. Let's take the tarp off. Fuck yeah. Super set, bro. Doing dips with a super set of push-ups. You guys want to see some physique? What is my phone doing, bro? Most muscular. Yeah. Oh, ah, nice chest pump. But oh, what? Oh yeah. Side chest action. Boom. Yep, yep. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Huh. Back to the bye. <clears throat> oh. My physique's coming together. I really am feeling good. My food, I've gotten increase in food almost every single week. That just means my body's ready to grow, which is good. That means I'm really only gonna be dying for probably six weeks, which I'm so happy for. This is no gear, by the way, guys. I still have no gear in my system. It's all just food and fucking good genetics. 